mystics in it, God. Shit. Ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to niggas is violent and bitches. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob 47 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14. And this game, we're going up against the UConn Huskies. Alright, and this is a team we cannot take lightly. Last game, you guys seen us be beat up on Idaho. But that, that was that was Idaho. This is a team that's pretty, pretty okay. Okay. You know, Brian Sheriffs, he can get the job done. And we're we're away for this game. So we don't have that home field advantage. We definitely gotta do some. We gotta do something. We can't just sit back. Sit still look pretty. Alright. We actually gotta go out there and play. And that's what I intend to that's what we intend to do. Okay, now we had some inconsistencies at the quarterback spot, you know. A lot of uh, all three of our quarterbacks can't seem to find their rhythm. If anyone can find their rhythm, it's only Ulysses McDonald, the freshman. Now next year I will stick with the same three quarterback formation, but after that, I feel as though that I will just give Ulysses McDonald the starting job over Tyree Jackson because Ulysses got talent. He's got talent. All right, so I want to start him. I might, I don't know if Tyree Jackson is a redshirt though, but then again, if I redshirt him, it's like no point. So anyway, we start out with a complete pass to Kevin Rogers for negative one yards, which is not good at all, making it second and 11. It's going to be a read option, and Zach Nicholas carries it for only three yards, making it a third and eight with about five minutes left to go. And also, I'm going to increase the quarters to seven minutes, and we do get a first down this time. It's Kevin Rogers yet again who gets some positive yards on this one, so it's going to be first down and 10. That is Tyree Jackson in the backfield. Now he's light skin. Now we got his skin tone correct. Okay. Okay. And in real life, he actually starts, but he's not that great. Like, he's not that great. And Zach Nicholas, he picks up some good yardage, a 12 yard rush. So, so far, so good on this opening drive. So, it's going to be a first down and 10 on the 38 yard line. Chris Merchant dropping deep. And he's going to find Zach Nicholas for about one yard. One yard. So, 39, Chris Merchant. He's our passing QB. Hopefully, he can get us a first down. All right, he's going to air it out to J.R. Zazara for the first down, making it a first down and 10 around the 20-yard line. And that's going to be a quarterback keeper for Tyree Jackson, who chugs ahead for nine yards. So, for second and one. Another read option leads to another first down for the Buffalo Bulls as Alyssa McDonald picks up five yards. So, it's going to be first and goal from the seven yard line Chris Merchant is in the shotgun motioning a receiver which is J.R. Zazara and Chris Merchant is gonna find his receiver Jacob Martinez for the seven yard touchdown and that puts us up on the board six nothing against the Huskies we rank 13th in the nation we're not trying to take no L's so we get the ball back hand it off to Zach Nicholas who's got blocks and he's gonna pick up the first down making it first down and ten on the 45 yard line so Chris Merchant dropping back to pass yet again and he gets sacked on that one now that was probably one of the plays where I got pissed because I swear I pressed the button before it was there but Michael Robinson lays out to get this one a 43 yard reception Michael Robinson is a deep threat him in the slot nobody can stop him so Chris Merchant dropping back again he almost throws a pick right there so that's gonna make it fourth and 26 we ended up missing a field goal attempt, so it's going to be 4th and 26, but this coverage is absolutely garbage. Hergi Mayala makes the reception, and Brian Sheriff is going to hand it off to his running back, Arkeel Newsom, who's only going to pick up 2 yards, making a second and goal, but our secondary, I told you, it's bad. And, hey, we're stopping Newsom from scoring, alright, so it's going to be 3rd and goal for damn Huskies, alright, and hopefully we can stop damn Huskies from scoring, alright, so, Bryant Sheriffs, he's back there in the shotgun, he's going to loft it up there, and we get the pick, Lee Brown, the star-studded freshman, this guy, he's been all over the place this year, I mean, he's been getting sacks, he's been getting forced fumbles, he's been getting in toes, and he's also gotten receptions, which is crazy, absolutely crazy, Lee Brown, Chauncey Williams and Ulysses McDonald. That's all I gotta say. All right. So with five seconds left in the second quarter, UConn they're just gonna run the clock out with Bryant Sheriffs, and we almost get a fumble right there. And he only picked up five yards. So going into the half, we lead seven zero. Offensively, not doing so great. Defensively, 
we are we are having a good day defensively. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for more out of our defense, and they're definitely producing. And hopefully, we can keep on chugging along and hopefully win this game. But pass protection has not been something to envy this game. As you guys see right there, uh, Chris Merchant has been under a lot of pressure. But we've also put Brian Scherfs under a lot of pressure as well. But you guys see, like, we cannot, we can't, we got to block for our QB. Like, that is imperative. So hopefully, second half, we would definitely approve upon that. So UConn has the ball on the 35-yard line. They're going to complete a pass to Mayala once again for a 9-yard reception, making it second and one with about 40, 47 left to go in the third quarter. So Brian Sheriff is going to complete to Arkeel Newsom, who picks up about 10 yards on that one. And it's going to make it a first down and 10 on the 15. So Arkeel Newsom is going to get the call yet again. He's going to bounce it out to the outside. Stiff arms a defender. For a 10-yard rush, making it first down and goal. That was a big man move right there. That stiff arm. And Brian Sheriffs, he's got a little speed on the outside. He outruns the defender and gets the touchdown, putting the Huskies on the board. So, defense not starting out so hot in the second half. So, we got to definitely change that. So, it's going to be JT Burgess back there to return this kickoff. And you guys know he's dangerous. He's very dangerous. He's going to get the ball like five yards deep. He's got some blocks. He's going to get all the way to the 48-yard line on that one. What a great return. So, Zach Nichols, he's going to get the carry, and he picks up about six yards on that one, making it second and four. So, Chris Merchant back there, back to pass once again. The man in motion, which is Jacob Martinez. He's going to throw it to Jacob Martinez, who is wide open, and he's going to pick up the first down, first and down and 10 for the Bulls yet again. And that is going to be Tyreek Jackson, who picks up seven yards, making it second and three. So, Tyreek Jackson going to drop back the pass, finds Micah Robinson, who almost gets the first down, but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So, we're going to have to go for it on third and one, and we do get the thir first down. A four-yard rush by Zach Nicholas, you know, having a productive day. So Tyree Jackson still in the game as QB. It's going to drop back to pass. Find J.T. Burgess for a nine-yard reception. So Chris Merchant back. Chris Merchant, what you going to do? He completes the pass to Eric Hopkins for the reception. So first and goal for the Bulls. We're going to hand it off to Zach Nicholas. He almost plunges into the end zone but gets stopped just shy of the pay dirt but he does score this time around making it a 13-7 ball game so so far so good our running game is definitely keeping us in the game and our passing has been okay it's been okay all right so brian sheriff's back to pass he's gonna find his receiver newsome yet again he's been hitting newsome all day we gotta stop him we got to find a way so brian sheriff dropping back he's gonna get sacked by Zach Schnackle. So they're going to have to settle for a field goal attempt. Hopefully they miss it. I really hope they miss it. Please miss it. Please miss it. Please. But it's good. The kick is up and it's good. So that means that we're going to have to try to score again. We got we to gotta extend this lead. Zach Nicholas on a three-yard rush right there. So we're going to do this read option one more time. And Ulysses McDonald, he's got some blocks. He's going to try to cut back inside. He does successfully. And he's running down the sideline. And he's still going. Who, if he had a little more breakaway speed, that would have been a touchdown easily. So we're on a 12-yard line. Zach Nickel is still in the game. All right. He's going to drop back to pass. He's going to find a receiver. He does find Jacob Martinez. Fit that in the tightest of holes. So Chris Merchant, he's dropping back to pass. He's going to try to find a receiver, but he gets sacked, and he fumbles on that one, and Arnsby picks it up, and oh, my gosh. No. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so. So UConn will have the ball, but ooh. Can't be dropping passes like that, so UConn will go five wide. Second and five, Brian Scherf dropping back. But Chauncey Williams, the freshman, makes the sack. So third and 13. This is where we got to get a stop. We almost get the tackle right there. And Arkeel Newsom gets the first down and more. Oh, my God. That could have been the stop. But we just couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. And Arkeel Newsom will get into the end zone, making it a 17. 
to 14 game. So with two minutes left, we gotta find a way to score. Gotta find a way to score. It's 37. All right, not looking good for us at all. All right, Chris Merchant. He's gonna drop back the pass. He's gonna find Kevin Rogers, and Rogers gets upended, but still gets the first down. So Chris Merchant dropping back to pass again finds Jr. Zazara. So we're still we're still going. We don't give up, baby. We don't give up. Zach Nicholas takes it for about three yards. So we're gonna keep plugging. We're gonna keep chugging. We're not gonna give up at all. Chris Merchant, please lead us to the promised land, man. All right, he's going to drop back and find J.R. Zazara one more time. So at this point, I could run out the clock and, you know, kick a field goal. But I'm like, no, no, we're going to go for that score. We're going to go for that score because we can't trust our kickers. We can't trust our kickers. We got 32 seconds left. All oh, two timeouts left. All right. Chris Merchant dropping back to pass. Kits intercepted by Thunderbunk. And that will do it, folks. We almost, we almost got the comeback victory, but that that play just ended it. That made me sick to my stomach when it happened. <sighs> so close. So close. And that's another loss. We already lost to UCLA and we lost to UConn. So we're definitely going to go down in the rankings. And at this point, since uh, two teams in our conference are doing so well that they're ranked in like the top 15, our hopes of going to the championship are pretty much done. They're done. We're not even going to win the conference at this point. So you could kiss that goodbye. Not a good game at all for our quarterbacks. I mean, Ulysses McDonald had a hell of a day, but everybody else kick rocks. They did not do good. I just, at this point, I really just want to put Ulysses McDonald in forever. All right. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.